Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all boys where I'm from, man. I'm from that What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know who it is. The big boss out. Boss dog cake poke through the dough. Get a type of boxer. Before I get my celebrity equipment, the tough times don't last. Good people do not. Obviously, I'll cut them Mental health highlight. Remember, you matter. Remember, you matter. And I mean that. Now, peep game. Uh. I just want to say this. I appreciate everybody for coming to the live the other day. It was a good time. We talked boxing. You know, uh, shout out to that boy, uh, Debo. He came on there on 10, on 20. You know, I appreciate everybody coming. And, and, and really, I use my platform for everybody to have a voice. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, boss ain't running for no smoke. You know what I'm saying? You know, it is what it is. Uh, but I want to talk about Elspeth versus Fundura, right? Uh, Apparently they have a verbal agreement, so they're gonna they're scheduled to fight in October. Um, this is gonna be a tough fight for El Spence. Not gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna hold you. This is not a gimme fight. This ain't a fight where, you know, I could be like a hundred percent El gonna win. I I could I see ways El Spence can win. I see ways Fondura can win. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like we keep it a thousand. You know, boss is real. El been out the ring, right? And he's fighting a title fight against Sebastian Fedora. Now, nah, Elspis is Mr. No Tunos, right? Which that hasn't fared out for him well. I, I, now, looking back at it, he should have took a tune-up, you know, before he fought Crawford. You know what I mean? He should have took some type of fight. Now, you're doing the same thing again against Sebastian Fedora. It's like... But Errol believing himself that much to the point where he like, I don't care. I'm, I'm still... You know what I'm saying? Um... That's a tough fight for Errol. I'm not going to lie to you. Just like I feel like that's a tough fight for Crawford. You know what I mean? Sebastian Fandura ain't no slouch, bro. I think a lot of people, like, write him off like he trash. I'm like, the dude is a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a good 154-pounder. Uh, he's 6'7". He's tough. He's figuring it out that, hey, I can use my length, right? And Errol got his hands full, bro. He got his hands full. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not a fight where... He could he could lose this fight. You know what I mean? I'ma keep it I keep it trill on my channel. He could lose this fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta we gotta be honest in the sport of boxing. He very well could lose this fight, but he very well could win this fight too. You know what I mean? I think Errol just gotta stay the course. He gotta stay the course. He gotta stay locked in. And you know, I see he training with Frank Martin. You know, uh, I don't know who El Spence's coach is going to be. I'm intrigued to see who he's going to add to be his, you know, coach. I want him to be Bozy. I want Bozy Ennis to be his coach. I'm not going to lie to you. I think Bozy will be able to unlock something at El Spence. But that's just me. You know, I think Bozy is a hell of a coach. I like Bozy Ennis as a coach. I feel like he real, and I feel like he'll be able to reach Errol and help Errol take his game to another level. You got know I mean? And add to what El Spence already is as a fighter, but I like uh, I like the fight. It's not gonna be easy though. It ain't gonna be easy. You know what I mean? Um, nothing signed, said, and delivered. They just had a verbal agreement. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is according to BoxingScene.com. So we shall see. You know. If this fight is delivered, I mean, they already verbally agreed to it in the ring, and then now it's just confirmation. So, you know, Sebastian Fondura is willing to challenge himself, but he wants the big money fights, you know. And El Spence is a big money fighter, and we shall see. But right now, El Spence has mentioned retirement. You know, he said this might be the last time y'all see me. And you know, I think El Spence is saying that. I mean, it could it could be. It may not have been retirement from boxing. It may have been, I'm taking time off from social media. You know what I mean? You know, I may not post on here for a while. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my stuff together. That may be the case. But, you know, if he is mentioning retirement from boxing, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think it's depending on, I think it's depending on whether he wins or loses against Fedora. That's what I think. I could be wrong. It may have been, some, it may be something else. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Errol Spence probably fell out of love with boxing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that uh, Tank Davis talked about it the the during the Frank Martin press conference. He said, "Man, like all this stuff ain't cool. The rings and money and all that. Like 
it's all right, but he said, man, I'm, I'm going to do my couple fights and I'm done. Y'all not going to see me no more. Like, he was like, this stuff ain't, this stuff ain't it. You know what I mean? You know, like, this stuff ain't, and, and to hear a fighter say that, like, I really appreciate Tank for saying that. You know, to being transparent like that, like, you know, like, man, this stuff ain't, this stuff ain't what's up, man. Like, man, you got to deal with all this foolishness. Like, I, I really respect, you know, Tank for mentioning that, and that may be the case for Errol. Errol probably looking at it like, man, this stuff dry. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? I got to worry about this, this, and this, and it's like, man, I don't, I don't like this stuff. Whereas you got fighters like Terrence Crawford who really love boxing. Like, they really love the sport regardless of the bull crap that happens in the sport they love it anyway whereas Errol may have thought boxing was a certain thing and then you know he got in the sport and then he like man this stuff really like ain't what's up you know what I mean so that may be the case you know what I'm saying I think Errol I think Errol man if he decide to retire it's, he, he a hall of fame fighter in my book you know what I'm saying? Regardless, nobody is doing. Nobody did what he did as far as the type of fights he was taking and stuff like that. Now, was all of it? Was it always the right move? No, but he was winning at the time. So, how could you combat the moves he was making? Because he was winning, right? It's when he loses that's when you be like, okay, you know. I'll be just saying like, man, he missing no tuners. He winning. You know, and until he lose, you know, once he lose, that's where you be like, that's where you could critique him. Like, hey, man, you ain't taking no tune-ups. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I definitely think that Elspeth should have took some tune-ups a couple of times in his career, but he, his mindset is I'm missing no tune-ups. I ain't taking none. So I think what El got to do is, is, you know, hopefully, you know, he got he to do some soul searching for himself. You know, during this time, he got a little time between now and October. So, you know, hopefully, you know, the brother can, you know, find the right coach. He just got a lot of obstacles in his way. He got a lot he got to worry about. You know, this is a big fight, bro. Like, this ain't no easy fight. This ain't no fight where, like, like Crawford fight. Crawford fight my dream off. That's an easy fight, bro. I'm not even going They be trying to. But Crawford's smart. He take fights where. He don't take no punishment, you know what I'm saying? He fight easy fights, and then, you know, that's how he operate, you know? Errol been fighting killers and having to take the, do all this heavy lifting and fight this dude, fight this dude, fight this dude, going to war with this dude, this dude, and Crawford just like. <laughs> Errol, ugh, going to battle. Roman Empire, Empire Roman War, ugh. Paul, Crawford. Then he came to Errol. They, nah, I got to give Crawford his credit with Errol. That nigga, that man studied the mess out of Errol. Like, I went back and watched that fight the other day. I've watched that fight like a like, like thousand times. Did my homework. And Crawford knew Errol Spence's defensive movement off of an offensive arsenal, like off an offensive attack. Like he, people, people just talk about Crawford in that fight. Like the Bud Brothers will tell you, oh, Crawford's just, Crawford's just naturally better. No, Crawford prepared for Arrow. He knew what Arrow was going to do before Arrow even did it. it. It was like he was psychic. Like he just knew where Arrow Spence, he knew where Arrow Spence's defensive movement is going to be off of offensive attack. So when Arrow Spence, when Arrow Spence would come with that overhand left, right? Crawford was already prepared to, okay, I'm going to position myself this way to land this shot. And he did that. And it was just like amazing. You know what I'm saying? It was amazing how prepared he was, right? It wasn't like a sense of, oh, yeah, Crawford just showed up. And No, that boy studied Errol. They been studying Errol. They been studying that boy, you know? That's what happened. They knew what that man was going to do before he even did it. You know what I'm saying? I got to give Crawford and his team a thousand. That was a brilliant performance. That was the best Terrence Crawford I've ever seen. But that's because they did their homework. They studied that boy. 
So when they came down to fight, they were ready. You know what I mean? They knew everything he was going to do. They knew everything he was going to do before he even did it. So I got to tilt my hat to Bo, uh, Bomac, uh, Red, and the Hispanic dude, and Terrence Crawford, like, in team. They did a phenomenal guy. Even uh, Bernie the cheerleader. I got to give them all that credit, bro. They were prepared. They knew what Arrow was going to do, you know, and they even kept enough distance to avoid the body attack of Arrow. Like, they took away his jab. Like, they, they made Arrow non-dimensional. <laughs> but Errol dog Errol kept fighting Errol's like mm, You got to kill me in here That's how Errol Spitz was That's how he is You got to kill me in here You know what I'm saying So You know And I think that's why Crawford Respects Errol Spitz Because Errol ain't lay down You know And that's why Like me and the Bud Buddies After the fight We had a lot of You know a lot of us were able to like, I say 50% of the Bud Buddies, we was able to become cool because there was a respect factor. I think they was thinking I was gonna be like making excuses. I think they thought that, you know, I was gonna trash Crawford, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, nah. And really, I never really had no issue with Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Like they made it into a personal thing. Like that's how I be knowing like some of y'all don't know boxing. Cause a lot of y'all made it into a personal thing where was, oh, you talking bad about Crawford. I only kept in boxing with Crawford. When I broke down the fight, I told you ways Crawford can win and ways Errol can win. I always did that. If I was a pro, if I was pro Errol, I wouldn't even give a damn about what Crawford doing. And I've always said Crawford's a great fighter. I always said that. Bud Buddies won't tell you that Errol Spence is a great fighter. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you Errol Spence suck. That's what they're going to tell you. That's the difference between me and them. I'm a fan of boxing. So I'm going to sit here and tell you the truth and say, man, Crawford a great fighter. I just felt like Earl Spence could beat him. That was just my opinion. That was how I viewed everything. I felt like Earl Spence was going to beat Terrence Crawford. That wasn't the case. You know what I mean? I was wrong. I stood on my 10 and admitted, hey, I'm wrong. Terrence Crawford, congratulations to him. Two-time undisputed, he was the, he's the better fighter. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but Earl moving forward, you know, after that fight, he got a lot. He got a. He got. A, he got a lot going on. You know what I mean? So he got to get some stability. You know, he got to get some stability. And you know, and everything. You know, once he uh, comes back and fight, he got to get a coach. You know, it's just a lot. He got to find out. You know, and I'm not talking about just any coach. He got to get the right coach. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And I feel like Bozy Ennis fits him perfectly. Bozy Ennis will be able to, like, help Errol, you know, against a, a Sebastian Fundor. I believe that a thousand percent. I think Bozy Ennis will, could revitalize Errol Spence. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, that's just my opinion about Bozy. I got a lot of, I, I think Bozy is a brilliant mind. He's a brilliant coach, you know, or like a Kenny Porter. I think Kenny Porter will make Errol Spence uh, more defensively responsible. You get what I mean? Cause he's a, he's so much of a disciplinarian as a coach, he like a drill sergeant. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what L. Spence like. L. Spence like coaches like that. You know what I mean? Or Barry Hunter. You know those are the type of coaches I like. I mean that I think fit him. I think Calvin Ford would be good for L. Too, but Calvin Ford is really not like a a drill sergeant. You know what I'm saying? He's more like a okay. All right, cool. That's what you want to do? Cool. We're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And he may be like that. He just don't show it publicly. You know what I'm saying? But I think those three coaches would be perfect. I think Bozy Ennis would be perfect for L. Spence. Perfect. I think he'll be able to, like, unleash some in arrow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think he'll be able to unleash some in arrow to the point if arrow want to keep fighting at this new weight class, arrow could be competitive and... Uh, you know, beat a couple of guys. Now, like I say, that 154 is different. Even for Crawford. A lot of people talking like, oh, man, 154, Crawford going to get that too. It's like, okay, I believe that his journey to Undisputed is not as tough. You know what I'm saying? But he can take a loss. You know, if he fighting the right people, he can take a loss. He can take uh, a loss 
extra lubing, and, you know, all that. He can, if he fight them, now if he don't fight them and he fighting, you know, my dream off and my him off and I'm he conk and he got I just got I he fighting them. Yeah, he gonna he gonna stay undefeated. You know what I'm saying? But I think Crawford, you know. That 154 ain't nothing to play with. Just like up there with Arrow, it ain't nothing to play with. That's why Danny Garcia, ain't, he ain't really fought a 254-pounder yet. What did he do? He brought Jose Benavidez Jr. up to 154, and they fought. So that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Danny ain't fought a real 154-pounder. Keith Thurman was about to fight a real 154-pounder until he blew out his boss here. Pause, no diddy. And then, uh, but Arrow... L for the fight, 154 pounds of true one. So it's Terrence Crawford. So we shall see how these guys look. You know what I'm saying? I think Crawford going to blitz it. That my dream of fight, but I'm telling you, Crawford finna beat him, bro. It's, it's what it is. Now, I'm hearing rumblings about L. Spence versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, where the winner of the L. Spence from door fight could possibly get a Ryan Garcia. Um, That's a big money fight, but I, I'm telling you, Ryan Garcia will get stopped. By L. Spence and Sebastian Fedora. Ryan Garcia is not that good. He got power. You know what I mean? And I'm going to keep saying that. He got power. But against an Errol, you been, and then you've been talking about his wife, Errol, stop him. Errol, break bone in that nigga face. I really, truthfully, I'm not going to lie to you. I would want Errol to fight Ryan Garcia before Sebastian Fedora. Only because of the fact that Ryan Garcia been talking. Ryan Garcia be saying all this stuff. And it, it, it's not only about Errol. It's like he talked about George Camboso's wife, David Haney, mama. Like, bro, like, keep it boxing. Like, talk about the fighter. Hey, bro, you gay or whatever. Hey, cool. But you talk about people, mama and stuff like that. Like, nah, I got I to gotta see. You got to see me, bro. Like, and, and if I was any of them fighters, I'm, I'm showing up to Ryan Garcia house. Dolo. Like, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I was any of them fighters, you said that about my my wife. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say no 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 social media. I ain't saying nothing. I'ma show up to you. I'ma show up wherever you are. And ain't nothing, ain't nothing nobody can do to stop what's gonna happen. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because now you making it into a personal thing. You you know if it's if it's boxing keep it boxing, but you wanna like when he was saying about Arrow when it came to L, I, I never is giving Goonies I like that that's cool yeah yeah, but when you start talking about L wife and and you know and then you talking about George Cambosos wife and nah 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 cause you 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 going into uncharted waters nah I got I gotta I got I gotta see you for that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. If I if I was Errol or if I was George Cambosos and them, yeah, you, yeah, I'm not saying nothing. I'm 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 gonna show up where you are, and you are gonna have to stand on that. That's how I look at it. You gonna have to stand on what you said, and I'm gonna make sure I remind you. Hey, what's the? I'm gonna screenshot it, show it to you. You said this right here. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, all that talking and all that, we ain't doing none of that. You know what I mean? But that was me if I was any of those guys. I'm not promoting it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not saying, I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, I hope Ryan Garcia get hurt. I'm just sitting there saying that he, he, he went into some, some, some areas that you ain't supposed to touch. Keep that mud boxing. You know what I'm saying? He could really could have just chopped Errol up about the, the Crawford fight. He could have just did that. You know what I mean? But I'm rambling. I'm finna go in the gym. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Errol Spence versus Fedora. Who you got winning? Boss go.